in the last post, we discussed and discovered how the way we work currently has been evolving since the Industrial Revolution. Now, 200 years later, we are again at an important fork in the road. Bill Gates calls this the era of AI. Technology has enabled talent to work from anywhere. All of this has implications on how business leaders and companies can enhance employee performance. Think of a typical factory uh, not too long ago, 10, 20 years ago. The worker, he or she, had a designated workspace to go to, same time every day. They had a set of predetermined tasks that had to be done in a defined way. In this scenario, to improve and, and enhance employee performance, leaders just needed to clarify what needed to be done and to some extent why it needed to be done. Fast forward to today. Think of a team member in your team. Even for the simplest of tasks, that team member needs to collaborate with a wide array of team members, sometimes out of your team. Sometimes the team member needs to exercise judgment and make decisions on the best way to complete that work. There is no one defined way of getting work done. This makes talent even more critical. And talent today can work from anywhere. So if companies and business leaders are looking to enhance employee performance in this scenario, it is no longer enough to just clarify the what and the why. The how work is done is becoming an important lever for companies to consider, design, and get right. The how has many facets. Let me give you a few examples. One, the tools the team use, they have an important bearing on the outcomes. We took stock recently and we are a small team. Between us, we had 23 tools that we, are, we were using, often overlapping, causing confusions and making us search for things everywhere. Think of larger teams and the potential chaos it must be causing. Second, structuring the workday itself. How can you help your teams craft their workday to encompass collaboration, focused work, social connections, all without being prescriptive. Third, redesigning the workflow. We've spoken about that earlier. And last and possibly most important, how can you help build connectedness by design? Connectedness between team members, connectedness between the task, the organization, and the team member. These are important elements, levers of the how that business leaders and companies must consider to enhance employee performance. More details of the framework is in this edition of the OWL on hybrid work. The link is in the comments. Thank you.